Hey everyone, it's Rebecca here. Uh, just coming to you today to add something new and exciting um, to my um, YouTube page, which is going to be me talking about um, books and movies and all the things that I love. So today I wanna to talk about, and yes, I'm gonna go there, The Game of Thrones. Um, I started reading the books in about 2001 and I waited patiently with a lot of the rest of the world for George R.R. R. Martin to continue to and prayed like everyone else that he wouldn't die before um, the series was, was finished. And now we have HBO to thank for probably going to be the ones who finish that. But over the years, I have collected a few things that I think are neat. A couple of things that are signed um, by George R.R. R. Martin that um, are just thrilling to me now to have. Uh, I love the fan art. I love um, I love the swords and the and the the dragons and and all of the neat stuff that everybody else uh, now loves. So I want to share with you some of that the stuff that I have. So um, stand by. So today I picked up this coffee table book and I had a great conversation with the the uh, the guy who worked at Barnes and Noble and he said that this book had just come out and also my daughter had told me about it. Um, it's, a, it's amazing. It has so much fan art inside and I, I don't even know what to say. I haven't got to fully go through it and um, but it, it it's just amazing. Look at this. I think that's Balleri in the, the, the black. He's the um, uh, black dread dragon of um, Game of Thrones, and I guess he was just humongous. You can see the dragon rider on the back of him, one of the Targaryens, and uh, it's just an amazing book. So I'm looking forward to going through that. As you can see, it's a really, really thick, uh, great coffee table book. It's like 60 bucks, but I think it's going to be worth it um, to go with my to go with my collection. So here's book number two that I have, um, and this is uh, some of this is a total book of fan art. It, it is just the most amazing book that I have ever had in my life. Um, you can just flip open the pages, and it's page after page after page of, of fan art, and uh, I I have no words. I, there's been many times I've just sat and and looked just through this book. Um, you see Cersei Lannister and uh, there's Tyrion and uh, this is, let me find it, my favorite picture of Jamie Lannister who is my favorite. Um, I think that he uh, is amazing so but oh, whoever drew that to me that will always be Jamie Lannister although um, I thought that they cast him very well. Another neat thing about this book is it signed by George R.R. R. Martin and it is uh, 52 of 250 of, of these books and uh, I bought it in 2005 I think I might have already said that but I just I can't believe I have this it is really really amazing and I don't like to touch it a lot but wow Also, another thing that I have that I think is really cool is Arya's Needle. Um, this was uh, um, crafted through uh, the Valer Valerian Steel uh, collection. I think I probably got this in 2006. It kind of looks different than Needle in, um, in the show, but to me it means a whole lot. Uh, here you have the, the dire wolf and uh, it's just, it was crafted. Um, to look like Mike Needle did in the book, and it had George R. R. Martin's blessing. Um, and that is 17 of, I think it says 2,500 of these made. And uh, of course, I bought this way back when nobody knew who Arya Stark was, and it's just one of the coolest things ever. And finally, um, the last thing that I that I want to share with you is um, uh, this little box that uh, has the uh, the uh, sigil of three dragon heads, and inside 
Oh my. Of course. No Game of Thrones fan can ever go without having their own three dragon eggs of Drogon, Rhaegal, and Viserion. Um, again, I won't do any spoilers, but wow, oh wow. I hope these guys hatch. That would be really cool, but you know, life isn't as cool as fantasy, but it's pretty neat. Just some stuff that I've collected over the years and um, just wanted to share them. And this is my dire wolf. <laughs> he thinks I have pepperoni. Actually, this is uh, Wolfgang. He's <laughs> being so weird right now. But he's a good boy. Who wants to go outside? Huh? You want to go outside? Those are the cutest ears I've ever seen. All right. Let's go.